channel my name is Jen and today I'm going to be doing a tag video I was tagged to do the little bit of everything tag by Ellie who I recently did a video with so I will cl click the link I will link the link I will put the link I will put the link down below so you can check out our videos and I will also say hi Ellie. So hi Ellie, thank you for tagging me. I haven't done like a sit down talk video in a really long time so I was really happy that she tagged me and when I saw my, my name on her list I was like woohoo she tagged me. I was way happy. So <laughs> this tag is just more of a talking tag um, and just asking questions. So we'll go ahead and start. The first question is do you keep up with the Kardashians? No. I really, really don't like Kanye West. Like, really, really, really don't like him. Like, he's my least favorite person right now. Always. If I see something on my Facebook that's like, look at what Kim did to her hair. She dyed it because Kanye made her. I don't know if that's true. But then I'll click it, but I'll never, like, go and search for the Kardashians or, like, watch their show or anything. Question number two. If you could have an old muscle car, which one would you choose? I know nothing about cars. Um, so I don't know. I like Mazda 3s. 3. Do you curse like a sailor when the camera isn't rolling? Um, I don't curse like a sailor. I do curse though. I think that swearing can be super super funny in stories. So I typically, I use it A to be funny, which I know is bad, but I do, or B, I use it when I'm at work and I get really frustrated. <laughs> I think a good swear word can just add so much to a story. Is that bad of me? That's bad, I'm sorry. But I, I do, I just think it's so funny sometimes. Number four, if your significant other gave you a hall pass, who would you use it on? Be honest, Josh Hutcherson. I love that boy. And I don't care that he's shorter than me. I don't even know if it's Josh Hutcherson or more like PETA because I've read all of the books and PETA is like, I love PETA. And I also love Josh Hutcherson, so them together is like, my ultimate celebrity crush. <laughs> what is one thing you do that you hate to admit? I, I hate the feeling, like the sensation of blowing my nose. I hate it. I Once when I was little, I remember I blew into my nose and instead, like, or I blew my nose and instead of coming out, it went like, it was clogged and so it went up into my nasal cavity and I don't know, it just like mentally scarred me for life. And so now I hate blowing my nose. So I wish that when I was sick, I could blow my nose. And I can. It takes like, I have to be at a really, really sad point to, <laughs> to blow my nose. I'd much rather sniff all day, which is horrible. Number six, do you really brush your teeth in the morning and at night? Be honest. Um, no. I'm pretty sure I'm the only person who I've <laughs> heard say no. I don't always brush my teeth at night because I'm the type of person where if I fall, fall asleep really fast, so if I lay down anticipating to get ready for bed later, most of the time I'll just fall, fall asleep and I don't actually brush my teeth at night. So it's never like I purposefully plan like I'm not going to brush my teeth tonight. It's just like I just kind of pass out so it doesn't happen. Number seven, what is your go-to drink at Starbucks? I actually don't drink coffee and I don't like Starbucks. I've had a couple of things that aren't coffee there and I don't really like anything. I think their hot, hot chocolate tastes like bark from a tree. Eight, is your current hair color your real hair color. Um, the roots are, as you can tell, they are pretty grown out. I'm gonna get it done. I'm getting it done soon, so don't be mad. But the ends are lighter than my natural hair color. Nine, if you could swap body bodies with someone, who would it be and why? I think it would be super fun to be Jennifer Lawrence. I think she's super cool. Ten, have you read Fifty Shades of Grey? If so, what did you think? No, I have not read it. I am super against Fifty Shades of Grey. I think being intimate with someone is um, special and it should be a positive experience, not a negative experience. From a lot of the things that I have read and seen, um, Christian, the main character, is very um, controlling and that really doesn't sit well with me, so no, I have not read it and I will never read it. Number 11, do you crack your knuckles? I crack my knuckles all the time all the time. I wish I could crack my neck though. Like I can't crack it like my my fiance is really great. He'll just go like this and it's like and I'm like oh I wish I could do that but I can't. I would crack my neck all day long if I could though. Have you accidentally text messaged someone something you were supposed to be sending your special someone? 
yes but it wasn't like super weird um, I had come home and I had texted my fiance I was like um, I'm home sweetie and I texted it to my dad and I know that doesn't sound awkward but it really made me feel uncomfortable if my dad never responded so I don't know if he thought I was being weird or what like but I, and I have not asked him about it because I'm terrified too I, like I ooh, that's weird have you ever created a fake profile to creep on someone no I've never created a created a fake profile however you know in the past I have done the whole like where you check in on them um, on Facebook and stuff yeah I've done that but I've never created a fake profile 14 what is your weakness cookies or pastries um, carbs not necessarily sweet I love potatoes and I love like anything super carby bread I really like 15 what do you love about yourself this is gonna sound awful <laughs> I think I'm like so funny and <laughs> but I think I'm hilarious and so I I love that I can make myself laugh and uh, that I have a good like I laugh about a lot of things like I don't get embarrassed because I just laugh it off I know that I'm stupid and I do stupid things a lot and so I like that I am able to laugh at myself 16 do you match your nail polish to your toenail polish I used to I don't anymore I haven't painted my toenails in a really long time just because I'm lazy um, but no not really I used to but not now 17 tell us a few things about you that people would be surprised to know about you mm, I talk a lot <laughs> and when something hurts me or I am emotionally like um, affected by something I need to talk about it and I need to talk about it multiple times I'm not the type of person who can like talk about it once and then just have it done with like I sit and I dwell and I think and I have to talk about it for a long time and because of that I have to have really patient friends who are willing to listen to me talk about something a lot um, it's just how I handle things and I know that's probably not the best way to handle things but it's just how I am when I am looking for close friends or like um, a significant other I need someone who is willing to listen to me like just talk about something a lot <laughs> like, I'm kind of like obsessive in that way it's it's kind of bad but that's that's it's just who I am 18 heels or flats flats always I love flats always flats flats it's my problem. 19 if you could do anything for one day and money wasn't an option how would you spend your day dream big I'd probably do two things one, I would get a personal chef because I don't know how to cook and I love food, so I'd hire a personal chef. Second thing, I would get all of my family and I would fly them down to Chile because my mom's family is in Chile and we don't ever really get to see them. So I would take them on a day trip there and they would all get to visit each other and laugh really loud because Chileans laugh really loud and talk really fast and have fun. So that's what I would do. I would probably also go to Sephora and buy everything that I want yeah number 20 what was the last YouTube video you watched um, February beauty favorites from beauty buzz hub I watch videos while I'm getting ready so hey Sarah just watch your video 21 do you have road rage N no like I get pissed off for like 0.2 seconds I'll be like oh what the f mm, and then I'm like I'm done like, and it's okay, like, if someone makes a mistake and they're like, oh, oh, sorry, I'm like, oh, oh, you're good, it's okay, I understand, I've been there too, like, I get it. But if they just, like, cut me off and, like, give me the finger or something, it makes me mad for, like, a couple minutes and then I let it go. I don't know. What is your favorite rock and roll song? I don't really li listen to rock and roll, so I don't know. I grew up, like, classic rock it did not exist in my life. I grew up listening to, like, the Bee Gees, Gloria, Stefan, and the Carpenters, and then a lot of Chilean music. So, I don't really have one. 23. Who was your first kiss? Do you still talk to them? My first kiss was Parker Jones. I was 16 and we had been dating for like five or six months and we still hadn't kissed. And we kissed and I ran inside crying. I don't know if he knows that, so Parker, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but it was like a traumatic experience for me. And no, I, I do not talk to him anymore. Not like I hate him, I just don't talk to him. It was a long time ago. If you could have one youtuber's closet who would it be i'm not really into fashion so um i don't know i like i like clothes that look good on me so i don't really know if i would have any ones lookbooks really aren't my thing i just like makeup <laughs> if you could have one youtuber's makeup collection who would it be um 
And I thought about this a lot. Of course, Tara Baby Z, her collection is just phenomenal. And I wouldn't even necessarily want all the makeup she has. I would just love to go in and just look at it. And she has like her own Sephora store, so I could swatch everything and decide what I want from there. That's what would be, that's what I would do. Cause like, I could never have so much makeup, like that much makeup that I would never use. Like that would bother me. But I would like to go and find all of the products and just swatch and just spend like an hour talking with her and then we could go and ride her horses. 26, do you have a nickname? Jen is my nickname, my full name is Jennifer. My family really only calls me that and sometimes my bosses, but then I'm like, boss, call me Jen, please. And then they call me Jen, so I'm Jen. 27, what do you think is the best thing about your YouTube channel? Um, I feel like I give good reviews and that's really the reason why I started YouTube was to give reviews. So I feel like I have really in-depth reviews. There are definitely some times where I'm like, oh, I should have said that differently or like worded that better, but I think I have good reviews. And I also like that I can laugh at myself. I say a lot of dumb stuff in my videos and I think it's funny. 28, how many cars have you had? What were they? I have had three cars. First one was a Saturn, 1995 Saturn. We still, and then I had a um, Prius which died and it was a 2001, the first generation, and I freaking loved that car. So then I bought my current one, which is a Kia Forte, and um, it's okay, it's silver, and it's like super sporty, which isn't really me, but it was a really good deal, so I got that. Still, I want a Mazda 3 one day. <laughs> 29, your favorite pizza? Um, I don't really have a favorite pizza, just as long as it doesn't have onions and there's a lot of um, pizza sauce because I really love pizza sauce. Number 30, if you could only have one lipstick for the rest of your life, which lipstick would you choose? This is the hardest question I've ever been faced with. I've been thinking for like two minutes. I'm editing, but I've been thinking for like two minutes. I want to say Shy Shine by MAC. Either that one, which I don't have with me, it's in my purse. I keep it in my purse at all times. Or the NYX Butter, Butter Lip Oh my gosh, the NYX Butter Lipstick in Pops. Really, really love this one. So that is the tag video. I hope you guys had fun uh, getting to know me a little bit more. I'm sorry if my answers were horrible. I tried to answer them as honestly as I could. And I'm going to tag some people right here like I always do. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Please subscribe to my channel. I love your faces. Stay safe, and I will talk to you guys again later. Bye! I hate showering. I hate showering more than anything in the entire world. I hate having to take the time out of my sleeping regimen <laughs> to shower. If I could, I would invent those things on the Jetsons where you just like walk through something and you're instantly clean.